This is Jared from Commit Quality. In today's video, we're going to go over how to work with the data layer in Cypress. I've already created a video on interacting with the data layer using Playwright, and I thought it'd be a good video to port over to show how we can do it in Cypress. So let's jump straight into this then. First of all, we're going to go to Commit Quality Practice Mock Data Layer, and all you have to do is if you inspect the page, and we go into the script tag, you can see here I have this dummy data layer, which has a few two different values in there. Page name of block data layer, subscribe to commit quality of true, and your favorite channel is commit quality. And this is what we're going to interact with. What I'm going to show is a quick win of how you can access this and you can retrieve the values. So let's jump into our Visual Studio code. And all I've got at the moment is just a basic test called data layer. I haven't added anything else in. So first of all, we want to go to the web page. So we'll say side.visit. And let's take that URL from here. Let's paste that in there. And next, we're going to make sure that the page is loaded fine. So I'm just going to do a side.get and make sure that the paragraph that we see, which if I just go back, it's just this. I just want to make sure that this is loaded correctly. Um, so you probably won't need this if you're doing it anywhere else, but I'm going to say you should. And just add a B visible. Fantastic. And now then this is where we can actually access the window object so we can access the data layer. Down below, you want to say sci.window and then you want to chain then onto it and we're going to pass the parameter. So let's call it win for window. And inside the callback, then we're going to work with this. So let's say access the data layer. So that'd be create a constant of data layer and we'll say equals win, which is that argument we have above, dot data layer. So this should actually get us the data layer object for us. So now what we could do is, uh, I tell you what, I'm just going to do a side.log first of all, and we'll work through how we can access the individual um, elements on there. So we'll say side.log data layer, save that, all looks good. And I guess what we could do is let's confirm a value in there just for the sake of this. We'll say assertions here. And I'll say uh, expect data layer. And we want to get something now. So uh, what were the, what do we have in there? Subscribe to commit quality. Let's take that one. So we'll say data layer dot notation subscribe to commit quality and it was just a value of boolean or false we can say dot to be true and that should work completely fine there so let's just recap all we've done is we've gone to the web page we just made sure that it's loading all is okay using these two we've then accessed inside side dot window we've got the data layer uh, we're going to output the data layer, so we should see all three of those values. And I've also added an assertion to say, expect the data layer va value of subscribe to commit quality to be true. So let's just give this a go then. Let's say npx cypress open to end testing. We'll use electron. It's open to you, so we want to go to the example.side.js. Awesome, there we are. So we're all passed. We can see that the value is true. Check into this console log. You can see here that this is our complete object. So we've got page name, mock data layer, subscribe to commit quality true, and favorite YouTube channel. And that's the data layer that we see on the web page. Of course, you can also change this. So um, instead of using the dot notation, you can do this way if you prefer. If I save this, everything should still work as expected. Now, that's kind of the base of it all. If you want to access more and more inside objects, and of course you can scope this down to whatever you want. So you could say date layer dot subscribe to commit quality. Or what we could do is create a bunch of constants off there. So we'll say const for each value. And then what I can do is a const page name equals until I'm going to use dot notation. So I'll say data layer dot and it was page name. We could, of course, do it for this one as well. So we could say const subscribed. If I could spell subscribed, and we could take this one. 
and like I said you can change that back to dot notation if you want but I'll keep it like that just for the sake of it and there was one more which was favorite YouTube channel so we'll say const favorite channel equals and it was data layer dot and let's take it from Cypress so I don't uh, incorrectly spell it so let's take the key there, favorite YouTube channel. And what we can do then, we can just change them to these. So we could say, expect that to be true. Uh, what else do we have? Let's just copy these. We want page name. And in this case, the assertion would be, we could do uh, to equal. It'd be mock data layer. And then there's one more, which we can, take here and this one will be commit quality now if i save this and rerun we should see everything still passes oh i spoke too soon mock data layer of course because i didn't change the page name silly mistake there but that's a nice easy one to change let's save that and there we are, we've got all three assertions, so we can see now we can assert on them. Of course, like I said, in data layers, you tend to have objects nested inside as well. So if we had an object nested inside, I could change this, or I could create constants down here, and it all work as expected. And that's it, it's that simple to work with the data layer in Cypress. As always, if you do have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. A like and subscribe is appreciated. I have also enabled super thanks, so if you wanna help support my channel, you can donate using that. As always, thank you and have a great day.